hi guys so i'm sorry the video got cut off in the middle so it's like two raised to n is equal to 522 so n would be like no log to the base 2 of 522 the value is like uh, the value would come up to like a nine point something so I can represent 521 it's, uh, let me check it. it's, it's like uh, 2 raised to 8 is 128 2 raised to 9 is by 2 raised to 7 is 128 2 raised to 8 is 256 right 2 raised to 9 is 512 and 2 raised to 10 is 1024 So that's how I, uh, I approximated that the power, uh, you know, it would be 9 point something because log to the base 2 of 522 is like, uh, it's like what's the power of 2, you know, in which power of 2, 522 can be expressed and it will be like 9 point something. So since n is 9 point something, and n represents the bits we need to you know signify 522 this can't be a fraction value because we can't you know cut a bit in half so we would have to take 10 bits so we would require 10 bits to represent 521 yeah it's in case of binary we can do it like you know we can if you know the values if you know the powers of 2 we can directly find it out because you know in order to represent up to 512 we need 9 bits and in order to represent up to 1024 we need 10 bits so obviously we will need to use 10 bits so we have seen up till now that how to convert you know from any base to base 10 right it's like we you know multiplying with the power of base like if I have a binary system it's 1 1 1 then 1 into 2 raised to 2 plus 1 into 2 raised to 1 plus 1 into 2 raised to 2 then adding all of them you know using decimal addition and getting the value and this particular number will be in base 10 so now we have to convert base 10 to other bases how to do it you know if it's like you know complementation of multiplication and it will be division So let's start with a simple example so I have said that you know in order to convert any base into 10 we will multiply it with the power of bases and then do decimal addition and in order to convert any base you know in order to convert decimal into any base we would do division by that particular base it's like if I want to represent you know 9 is in base 10 to a number which is in base 2 what I will do is I will start dividing it by 2 so it would be like a 9 I will by divide by 2 2 goes 4 times in 9 and I will get remainder as 1 I will keep it over there then I will divide by 2 you know and the reminder will be 0 and then again I will divide by 2 I will get 1 I will get 1 
and as 0 then I will read the reverse order so it will be 1 0 0 1 so for 9 to represent be represented in base 2 it will be 1 0 0 1 let's take another example for you know, from decimal to binary because that's you know, an important stuff in order for the basics to sink in it's like to convert sorry it's in base 10 you have to convert it into base 2 so i'm doing like 15 2 7 1 2 3 1 it's like again 2 1 the main trace 1 it goes in 1 and i come back so it's like 1 1 1 1 isn't it so in order to represent 15 in base 2 it would be denoted by 1 1 1 1 let's you know try to convert oh, this decimal number that's 27 into base 16 so it's you know, as I said it's just simple division if I divide 27 by 16 16 will go one time in 27 and the reminder will be 11 but decimal 11 is represented as B in hexadecimal so it would be the answer is like 1 B so 27 is represented as 1 B in hexadecimal so what we can understand from here is in order to convert decimal into any base we will divide it with that base and in order to convert any base into decimal what we do is that we will multiply it with the powers of base and do decimal addition so if we you know think why I said that you know we can convert any base into base 10 and any base I mean base 10 into any base is that if somebody asks you or if somebody asks anybody I want to convert B which is in base 3 to base 16 what can we do this is just a variable value let's say it's x y how do we convert this we can do it like we can convert this into base 10 and from there we can convert it into base 16 but remember i just want to add one more thing along with this the thing i want to add is that when we are dealing with powers of 2 we don't need to have that intermediate 10 state we can do it actually directly we think about it 2 raised to 2 is 4 so what actually we can understand from this is any number which is you know, in base 2 let's say if it's 11 that's it it's 3 so in base 4 this signifies a digit that is 0 1 2 3 so we have a digit for this so anything that is represented with two symbols can be represented with one symbol in base 4 or if you think about it anything that can be represented in two I mean one symbol in base 4 is represented by two symbols in base 2 
or we think about like this which is 3 is 8 so anything that is represented with one symbol in base 8 is represented with 3 bits that is 3 symbols in base 2 that's if you think about it the greatest number is in greatest symbol in base 8 is 7 0 2 8 minus 1 that is 7 and it requires 3 symbols that is which is equivalent to the power to which 2 needs to be raised to reach 8 and 2 raised to 4 is 16 so any symbol in 16 needs 4 symbols in base 2 why I said is that if I say let's see if I have a symbol like so 1 1 1 1 1 1 so if somebody asks me to convert base 2 to base 16 no since 16 is a power of 2 we don't have to convert this into base 10 and then convert it to base 16 we can directly do this by grouping 4 together that's why I said anything that requires one symbol requires four symbol in base 2 so that's why I'm grouping this and directly converting this so this is 1111 which is 15 so actually that's F and this is actually 11 which is B so this actually represents B F I can directly convert it and similarly if I wanted to convert you know say 1 3 1 1 0 into base 8 this is base 2 to base 8 I can do a grouping of 3 digits in 3 symbols it's like this is 6 and this is how much it's 5 so this is actually 56 in base 8 we don't have to convert it into intermediate base 10 you know why do we convert it into base 10 because we know all the calculations from our own childhood so it would be easy for us to convert it into base 10 so in order to you know to formally conclude what we study we can do one problem it's like 22 base 3 is 44 base 4 is what in let's, let's say x in base 5 so what can we do we can directly convert these two into powers of 10 it's like 2 into 3 raised to 1 plus 2 into 3 raised to 2 0 so this would be 6 plus 2 that's 8 and we can convert this it's like 4 into 4 plus 4 into 4 raise to 0 16 plus 4 that's 20 in decimal so when we add both of this we get 28 right so we have to now convert 28 into base 5 now this is in base 10 so from converting anything that's in decimal to a base we do division and from any base to 10 we do multiplication then addition right so in order to convert 28 into base 8 i would have to do something like 5 to minus 3 and 5 is 1 minus so 28 is represented as 
0.03 we have a DAO we can convert it back into decimal so it's 5 is 2 plus 0 into 5 plus 3 we are correct that's 28 so 22 of base 3 plus 44 of base 4 is equal to no, 28 of base 5 I mean sorry it's 103 of base 5 and for converting binaries into you know powers of 2 we can directly you know group them according to the power number we have if it's you know if we have to convert a binary number into octave it requires three so we can come you know group by three that's it and this is all basics it's really basic things about number theory or number systems and i will be you know trying to solve some problems you know really good problems that you know expands our concepts in number systems so that's it for now thank you